Hey guys, today we are doing day six of the Improvement Hell Challenge. Today's uh, prompt requires us to design a character and it recommends two character designers. I ended up combining the prompts given by my two character designers. Um, so my total prompt is a super sexy female vampire with a dark mysterious past who is touched by destiny and her rebellious hot topic wearing teenage daughter. And somehow I kind of lucked out with that because I figured I was going to get like big burly barbarian kind of thing. I was like, oh, that's my least favorite thing you draw in the whole world. But, you know, so um, I've been thinking about it a little bit. I rolled it last night and I've just kind of let the idea marinate in my brain. Um, and I wanted to sort of do a figure design demonstration. Oh, excuse me, a figure design demonstration for you guys. So we're gonna start off with some fairly basic shapes. And I want the two characters to contrast with one another, so. I think I'm going to do an extreme hourglass for the mother with sort of like a Marilyn Monroe look going. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up, like it's like if Vampira kind of met with uh, Marilyn Monroe. So I'm Googling some reference. So I want the mom to be all curved, like this really voluptuous lady. And this is just the first pass. Can always further refine the character. And I'm gonna go with a really plunging neckline. And a slit in the dress. And high pumps, which I'm not doing a very good job <laughs> of rendering here. So that's okay. This is just initial concept design. And we'll give her these little pointed ears that tend to be like the trite trademark of vampires because if I were to pursue this, I would pursue it as a humor comic. And mom would have like a little rosebud mouth. Oh, okay. All right, prism color. Let's go for that again then. And mom would have this little perfect button nose. So she'd really look like a classy opera singer vampire. Which would probably be a great way if you were, you know, a super powerful lady vampire. It'd be a great way to meet victims, to travel the world and the kind of, I mean, you're, you're flying under the radar by being such an obvious celebrity. And of course we have to do the hair covered by one eye and then like the super voluminous hair. And since we've got the basics, super basics from mom, Let's go with her rebellious teenager who is gonna just be like waif, thin. I guess a rebellious uh, teenage vampire would probably be like a vegan. Oh, I should totally give her those platformed like creepers. I had a pair of platform Mary Janes when I was a little goth kid in high school. kiddo is totally going to be rolling her eyes. Let's give her a big nose. I had a really big honker when I was a kid in high school. Pointy ears. Oh, we should definitely give mom big, dangly, pretty jewelry. 
kiddo needs like super big eyebrows because mom's already got big eyebrows let's give a kiddo like really big eyebrows like she hasn't had a chance yet to grow into her features now think about the hairstyle while i work on the rest of the design so i'm not super sure like maybe she needs like a lot of hair like mom has wavy hair so maybe daughter needs like a lot of hair and i probably could have gone even skinnier with the torso and yeah i probably could have should have done trip pants on her because that was definitely hot topic in the early 2000s just when I was a teenager but um I had a bunch of trip skirts instead because my mom refused to buy trip pants for whatever reason I don't even know I think her excuse was like they're cheaply made and they're kind of garbage and I all pretty much all the trip clothes in the 2000s was like that but she would agree to the skirts <laughs> so I don't I don't really know but I had a bunch of overpriced trip skirts oh yeah we got to do the we have to do like the mesh top and then that got even worse when like naruto really became a thing like everybody had the ninja mesh shirts the collar i mean really this is just an excuse for me to revisit my glory days oh yeah and like the big stupid wrist cuffs with the with like the they're like bondage cuffs is what they really were when we <laughs> when i look back on that i'm like mm, i know what that was supposed to be about did not really get it when i was a teenager or what if we gave her like really short hair like she's really trying not to be her mom and of course oh no maybe like um multicolor or like an undercut maybe like a faux hawk or something like it have to be wavy of course she is her mother's daughter at least biologically of course gotta do the fishnet mesh isn't perfect the point is to think about what you want to convey think about the characters and then try to find ways that you can either hint at it or outright state it and uh, being able to outright state it is really important if you're trying to do a mini comic you need to get the characters down as quick as possible or tell a story that doesn't focus on characters at all now, do I want to do the terrible stripey socks that we all have? Do I want to do... Let's do the stripey socks, because those are pretty awful. And I say this, but this is all stuff I owned, so... Alright, so we have the basic blueprint for both characters down. So when I do this for comics, nobody else is usually going to see these preliminary sketches, unless I'm like pitching it. But even then, it's not super important that the sketches be clear so much as they, they are clear enough and they give adequate direction. So something else I do when I'm de uh, designing characters is um, I will draw sort of like vignettes around the side to give an indication of what's going on. So like teenage daughter would totally have a piercing and she would also have braces she'd probably have rubber bands too oh man I remember those days those were awful so she's got braces and um, let's see what else oh I need to she would definitely 
have some piercings in her ears. Whereas mom would just go for like big, gaudy jewelry. Like, I mean, it would all be real because she's, you know, super sexy vampire who's got a date with destiny kind of thing. But my giant rubies. We need to indicate that she's got like just the daintiest incisors like you would not even think about it and of course she needs a beauty mark because she is old school beauty like that and then I'll also take written notes as I'm developing the character for things that maybe um, I don't feel like sketching out or aren't as obvious. That way I can keep it in mind. And then if I have a story already in mind and I need to... Sorry. And I'm going to need to express, I know I'm going to need to express certain emotions. Then I will usually go ahead and do expression sheets for those characters just so that I have reference for that. All right. So I know the Improvement Hell Challenge is going to have us develop these characters further. So I'm going to pretty much call that it for a day. For the day. Sorry. And unlike what the challenge called for, we get two for the price of one. So I, I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and useful. If you would like to see me demonstrate something in further detail, if you want to see me go ahead and do those expression sheets and show you guys how to do it or how to do turnarounds, just let me know in the comments below and I will get back to you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you again with another Improvement Hell prompt. I'm Becca Hilburn. Have a great day, guys. Bye.